Hi, welcome back. So in today's video, I'm going to explore yet another new feature of Open Web UI and interacting with my most favorite model till date, which is Llama 3, because it helps me interact with the model locally. The inference is fast, no data leaves the system. I can run it anywhere, even if I don't have a internet connection. So what is the feature? The feature is talking to the model. Now, one of the fastest ways to interact with somebody as human is to talk because you are able to explain more than writing lots and lots of content. Now, with this feature, with the record voice feature, I will show you today how you can interact with your model without writing anything. Now, at the same time, the use case that I will go through is let's say you have to start a new project and maybe this language or tech stack is new for you. Maybe it's not, but it's just that you are in that mental blocker right now, where to start, what actions to take, how to design the schema. So we would take that use case. So instead of writing our thought process as text, we are going to talk out loud and let the Llama model help us getting out of that mental block and take some actions. So to begin with, I will first select the Llama 3 latest 8B. Now, if you don't know how this setup is working, there is a video that I have done in the past and the link should be somewhere in the description or somewhere in the playlist. So make sure to check it out. But I've selected the Llama 3 model. I'm using Open Web UI on my local host. And now I'm going to start with the use case. The first thing I need to do is to allow the microphone usage. All right, so my use case is that I'm using Node and TypeScript, and I want to create library of things in books in this case. So create database model using MongoDB to represent books. So as you can see, whatever I said, it was transcribed into text. And now I can send this to Llama. Interesting. So it understood that we are using Node.js and TypeScript. And it understood that we are using Mongo database. And it said it, we need to have the book model, the library interface. And it says that we will need some functions to get books all the books, single book, add a single book, update a book or remove a book. And it's using the MongoDB adapter to interact with the database. It created the TypeScript interface for that book. It implemented the class. So it's pretty detailed in giving us these code that we can use to get started. It even implemented the adapter and implemented all of these things. That's pretty fantastic. It's a good head start. Now, one thing that when you are either adapting a code or writing a new one is important to write test. So let's ask Lava, not Lava, Lama in this case, to write test for it. Okay, this is a great start. Can you please help me write some tests so that I make sure that I'm not introducing any bugs in the system? Interesting. So transcribed correctly, let's send it out. Interesting. So it, it picked up Chai as the library because I was not explicit that I want to use either Jest or any other library. So it picked something on its own, not a problem. And then it started with the describe as a test suite and then the specific test cases, and then it created a book and then it's expecting the right things. Okay. So this is, this is a great way to have a code written for us and then some tests. And then, and it, again, it, it wrote the test for the MongoDB adapter as well. So pretty neat in this case. Now I just don't want to stop here because I have the database. I have a couple of functions. My next step is to create the APIs so that or any third-party developer can come in and they can 
create books on on my platform. So let's ask Lama about it. All right. So now I think we should create some restful endpoints. So can you create uh, the necessary restful endpoints using the right HTTP methods? Okay, the transcription was not exactly HTTP. Maybe my my language is not, I'm not English first, so it was not coming correctly. But let's see if, if Lama actually got the context behind it. Mm, interesting. So Lama did get everything correctly. So it, it took a restful endpoint. It picked up extra shares library and TypeScript. So it gave us the commands to install the necessary dependencies. And then it created the initial express app. It uses the body parts of JSON so that we can send the JSON back and forth using the header of content type. And then it created the get endpoint for all the books and then a specific book. And then it created a post endpoint so that we can create books in our system. And then it started the server. Pretty neat, isn't it? And I don't think we've spent more than five, six minutes. Interesting. So the final thing again, in the context of keeping everything safe and secure, I want to make sure that the code doesn't have any bugs. So I will ask Lama to write chess for me. This is great. So is there a way I can test all these restful endpoints? Can you please help me with that? Let's send it out. Okay. Supertest is one of the very well-known libraries in Node.js ecosystem. So it knows about it. That's pretty amazing. And then it created the test suite app and then it started to send the, the request to the endpoints and started connecting and asserting all the information. So this is a great start. And as you can see, I'm only talking at this point in time. And that was the point I wanted to make. You can, you can be talking about the next uh, spaceship project that you're talking and you have no idea where to start from. And right now what I'm demonstrating is just by talking out loud, there is somebody listening to me. And this listening to me is not far away. It's just sitting right here on my system. And it's helping me out in getting the mental clarity, but not just throwing a bunch of text, but extremely hyper-focused code that I can just copy and paste and start writing it. Now, it's different from what GitHub Copilot would do or maybe something similar because it, it runs in the context of VS Code. But here, I'm not trying to write the code. I'm just trying to see if I'm getting more and more clarity before I commit to any, any implementation. So this is really a great start. And I hope that they, this gave you some idea on how you can get started. You don't necessarily have to type, type, type. You can just keep talking and you can just, you don't need any internet connection. You can go out in the park, take a sip of coffee and then just start talking to the LLM and, and then you can get some clarity and then you go somewhere else. Maybe while you're waiting for your uh, train station coming back home, you can do all of this together. So. So I hope that this was useful. I hope that this will make, I would not say make your life easier, but maybe it will help you in making your process better and improve your daily life and not only the coding tasks that you do, but something else rather. So uh, talking, I really enjoyed talking to Lama in this case, and I hope that you would try out and do the same. And if you do, just write down a comment uh, sharing what other use cases did you try? Maybe, maybe that would help me in my own journey of learning and doing things. And if there are any new things that you would like me to try out or any other library that you want me to review, write down a comment and, and let me know what exactly you're looking for and be happy to, to create a video for that. All right, sounds good. Thank you very much for your time today and I will see you again.